Nigerian officials are now counting the votes for the presidential elections. While polling in some of the cities went smoothly, others reported some delays. Candidates from the two most uh, predominant parties in Nigeria face a tough challenge in their quest for victory. Nearly 90 million people cast their votes to appoint President Muhammadu Buhari's successor. This time, Africa's most populous nation is seeing three frontrunners competing for the post of president. They are former Lagos governor and all-progressive Congress candidate Bola Tinubu. The surprise third-party candidate Peter Obi from the Labour Party, who is the former governor of Anambra, and People's Democratic Party candidate Atiku Abubakar, who is a former vice president. This is the first time since the end of military rule in 1999 that an underdog candidate has entered the fray. The polls have been dominated by the APC and the main opposition, the PDP. However, whoever wins faces a series of tough challenges. An epidemic of kidnappings for ransom, conflict between herders and farmers, shortages of cash, fuel and power and deep-rooted corruption and poverty that are ravaging Nigeria. Many Nigerians were seen casting their ballots on Saturday evening, even hours after the official deadline was over. In the federal capital, Abuja, voters complained of glitches in uploading votes that caused delays. Meanwhile, in Lagos, armed men were seen firing shots in the air and snatching presidential ballot boxes. The shots, were, the shots sent voters screaming and scattering for cover and ballots being strewn across the floor. We are about to vote them. We saw them. They came out of a car and shot in the air. The road started running. Then some group of people fell. I was among them that fell there. That fell down there. So there was a sort, sort of stampede around there. That's where I enjoy. Okay. Despite such incidents, uh, the Election Commission has said results in some provinces can be expected late on Sunday. For more on this story, our correspondent Luisa Olani joins us live from Lagos. Uh, Luisa, what is the progress as far as counting of ballots is concerned? Um, I said a few minutes ago, about um, over 41,000 polling units have turned in their results from the over 176,000 uh, polling units across 36 states of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory. Now, the results usually goes through uh, four levels, as announced by the INEC officials, especially the presidential results. Uh, that's why it is taking this long. The final stage will be the um, National Coalition Center in Abuja that was declared open as at 1.30 a.m. To uh, p.m. today, and officially they're on a recess, and they're going to go back uh, to the drawing table at exactly 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Hopefully, other results will have trickled in from states of the Federation. Like the INEC boss said, it is only um, official results from the INEC uh, table that should be uh, taken as the real results. All right, we leave it at that, but we will keep coming back to you for the latest on this developing story. Louisa, thanks very much. Thank you very much.